A super middleweight, Karamura, 23-year-old German with a perfect slate so far. Got explosive power, five first-round wins, only turned pro last September. Up against Mustafa Stini, really into the deep end here. He's trying to turn around a losing run, but he did go the distance last time out. We join us at the start. Germany's uh, Karo Murat entering double figures here. 10th outing for the undefeated super middleweight, who is a speedy starter as he meets uh, Belgium's Mustafa Stini. Five knockouts in this opening round. And Murat's flat on his feet. He's sort of screwed his feet to the ground to try and get power in every shot he's throwing. He's used to the knockouts. It's only one, one of his last 13, though, Steeny. So very much the journeyman in here. Body shots from Murat. Who I noticed came straight out at the bell and threw one with a left hook. Sting is reckless. He, he's hoping to get a little bit of luck to try and to, try and edge him his way through a fight. But with Murad, I'm, I'm afraid he won't get away with this kind of fight. He's far too compact, far too ready. His, his eyes on the ball. He knows what he's looking at. Steeny did uh, stun. Get a mark shot in Belgium. It was a three-win novice. But he has been stopped several times himself. Nice variation there, dropped it to the body, ducked down, brought the right uppercut up. From shield out, and Mustafa Stini already getting a temporary respite. Business-like, isn't he, Murat, the way he came back out there. He doesn't give it away, his eyes doesn't give it away. You'd think, he, you wouldn't know what he was looking at if he saw a gap in the body or what. His eyes are focused straight on Steeny, and then he drops a combination to the body. Brings an uppercut up to the, to the head. And, and that's how you confuse an opponent. His last three have actually gone the full six rounds. Murat. Nicolas Perio, the Uruguayan based in Spain. Last time out. That's Griesel, just with a reminder, as Steeny has to eat up more body shots and uppercuts whipped in. Oh, he's so wild and loose, Steeny. And when Murad slips out of the way of the shot, he doesn't use his speed, he just sort of leans back a fraction of an inch and then back in again. Steeny's attempting to be a moving target, but he's being clubbed. So much in the process. We're on the first round here, and he's breathing, and he looks sort of disfuddled as if to say, what am, I do, what am I doing here? A crisp, classy work from Murat. Is he going to get another one-round finish? No, he's not. Steeny survives. But for how long? <laughs> Over the Kopf. Ganz locker so Kopf, ganz locker spielen Kopf. Years of age. Five, ten and a half, not massive for a super middleweight. But he can fight. Yes, he can fight. I think he's clever not to, to, to follow Steeny around because if he does that, it's going to be it's going to be a cat and mouse situation. He's standing there and making Steeny stay there with him in the middle of the ring to try and fight his way through and open him up like a shell. Like how he varied that shot up, dropped it to the body. Steeny dropped, looked down and boom, brought the right hand up. And he didn't stop until the referee jumped in there. And that's what fighters should do. Don't stop until the referee tells you to stop. Here's the second of six. We're in the 12 stone super middleweight division. The white of the German Kara Murat and the red of Mustafa Steeny. Murat, who's uh, been busy since he turned pro, and he catches Steeny there, who turns his back. And I don't think he wants to know, he doesn't. It's all finished in the second round. I think he broke his nose. 
I think he broke his nose. That shot made him turn away and, and say, no, I do not want this. It's not a finger in the eye, it's not a broken jaw. I think he broke his nose. Well, is that the power there of Karo Murat? He has to go into the second round, first victory in this session. There's a big smile. Uh, he's touching his nose. I think you may be right there. Clever, busy, didn't give him a chance to breathe. Set him up with a jab, walked him down, let him, didn't let him run away, and just flicked him around on the edge. And he knew, he knew that hurt, he knew that was enough. One left hook. The force. Oh, in which Murat threw that. You see, the shot looks like it's out of range, then he throws a long looping left hook straight on the button, and that's when it hurts. That was a snarl from him just after it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, just say, there's more, there's more to come. Unbeaten in 10 fights. They're making progress with Caro Murat. How far can this super middleweight go?